Cardinal Pierre Batista Pizzavala is offering up quite a remarkable trade peace to Hamas in exchange for the Israeli children who have been taken hostage, himself. Pope Francis' top representative in the Middle East made the proposal while answering questions from journalists in Italy via video conference, News.com has learned. I am ready for an exchange, anything, if this can lead to freedom, to bring the children home. No problem. There is total willingness on my part, Pizzaballa, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, said. The first thing to do is to try to win the release of the hostages, otherwise there will be no way of stopping an escalation. We are willing to help, even me personally. Though the Cardinal made the comments, he added that he nor his office have had any direct communication with Hamas, according to the New York Post. At least 3,600 people, including 30 Americans, have been killed since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7. Even more lives are at stake as Hamas has taken at least 199 people hostage, including many children. If I'm available for an exchange? Pizzaballa told a reporter, according to Fox News. Anything, if this could bring about the freedom of children, no problem. My absolute willingness. Hamas, a Palestinian militant group, recently released footage of its members holding Israeli toddlers and children during the initial attack. In the footage, militants are shown trying to calm the children as they cry in fear. United States President Joe Biden said he doesn't think the U.S. needs to send troops to Israel to help it defeat Hamas. I don't think that's necessary. Israel has one of the finest fighting forces in the country, Biden told 60 Minutes Scott Pelley in an interview that aired on Sunday, October 15. Biden's words echo what White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby told Fox News over the weekend. There's no plans or intentions to put U.S. troops on the ground to fight in this fight between Israel and Hamas, Kirby said. However, Kirby did not rule out the prospect of the United States sending troops to rescue those who have been taken hostage by Hamas. While the U.S.'s current intentions do not include putting troops on the ground, Biden said the country would support Israel as long as the war wages on. I guarantee we're going to provide them everything they need, Biden said.